Shot a bluff on the lick, got his ass whack. Heard a nigga stand, bro, we gon' get back. Three nights, two FNs in the scat. Too greedy, he slimy, really that. All black ski masks, everybody slack. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ju, and I'm back with another video. Um, Last night for me, I only uploaded like two vids. But uh, I'm trying to really watch what I upload right now, only because I told y'all, like, YouTube trying to copyright my channel and shit. But for me, I got two copyright shots right now. I get another one for me. I don't know what's going to happen. People just telling me in the comments and shit that they just be copyrighting and striking for me. They, don't really, they ain't really going to take my channel for me. So I'm not really worried about it, but for me, I'm still on that shit. For me, like, I hope they don't take my shit away. For me, I don't want to have to start over all this grinding for nothing. But for me, last night I was on my phone, man. I see my son eat our baby passed away. And that shit really crazy because, like, like, when you think of, like, drill rappers and shit passing, you'll never think of, like, the mainstream artists passing away. Like, you'll never see, like, you, you probably never see, like, k Flog, Dougie B. You'll never expect them niggas to pass away for me. Because, like, for me, they so they, they, had, they had a high point in their life where, like, they know what they're doing now. But that shit was really surprising when I seen Eda Baby had passed away. And I heard it was because of, like, mental health issues and shit. Mental health ain't nothing to play with, I ain't gonna lie. Especially when you got money for me, like, you are, it's, it come with, it come with, money really come with problems. Like, that's one thing I really learned over, over, like, times of me getting money. Like, that shit really just bring more problems. Nah, and I heard little bro was only, like, 17, too. Like, that shit crazy. But, um, make sure y'all checking up on y'all peoples, though, man. Because I'm telling y'all, mental health is really, like, that shit nothing to play with. I ain't gonna lie. We about to get straight to this video. <laughs> What up? This is Swayze and unfortunately I'm coming to you guys with some very bad news. It looks like E. Dot Baby has passed away. Now the news is coming in as we speak, however, it was confirmed by close associates such as J Star Boiler, KB, his manager, and even Didi Osama. As of now, we are not fully aware of what the cause of death is. There's rumors at the moment going around about overdosing. However, none of those stories are confirmed at the moment. But I'm not gonna lie, this one honestly took me by surprise. I'ma just keep it a buck with you guys. Eat that baby was the first nigga popping off from the towns that I heard of. And I'm talking about before the whole- I ain't gonna lie, me too, but I didn't even know he was from the um from Harlem, because when I first heard about him, I heard the uh, the Ready for War, the Ready for War song. I think it's Ready for War Part Two, or one of them songs. But uh, I ain't, I thought he was from the Bronx, but he came, he came out to be from Harlem and shit. <clears throat> Bronx, Harlem, drill wave was a thing. Like he was literally here since the beginning of this shit, and I find it really unfortunate because I thought this was his time. He been here doing his thing for a minute. Sugar Hill, Keem, Didi Osama, D-Dot, all of them are starting to go up. And I said to myself, this is E-Dot's time. He literally just celebrated signing a deal not too long ago. And I just think this is a very extremely unfortunate situation. Now, as far as I know, he was not murdered. No one took his life from him. However, again... I will keep you guys updated on any breaking news that comes. I feel like, I don't know, suicide is crazy. Like, I just can't believe that shit. Like, I don't know. What y'all think, though, for me? What y'all think? So stay in tuned and pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. But I'm off this. Like, I'm gonna keep going till I end this. I ain't gonna lie. Bro is definitely one of the stars in the Bronx, though. I can't lie. Um. That shit crazy though. Like that shit really did catch me by surprise. It was like, damn. I would have never expected to eat our baby to go for me. Like out of everybody. Definitely not. Him. Especially so young for me. Bro was 17. Like that's young as hell. Um but make sure for me, y'all checking up on everybody I love and make sure they good mentally for me. I hope y'all good mentally for me. If, I, I don't I don't really know y'all personally for me. That shit crazy, bro. RP eat our baby, man. I hope everybody for me stay safe. I hope he good. I hope I, I said I hope uh DD good, D I D I own for me. I hope all them all them good. And um y'all stay tuned, man. Videos still coming. Instagram the your Jew, Snapchat YBW Jew1, OnlyFans the your Jew. Man, I'll see y'all next video.